Good morning. The dome of this capital has always been a beacon of democracy and hope to America and to the world. Under this dome, our nation has abolished slavery, uh, secured equal protections for pe people across our country, ended the Civil War, enfranchised women, established Medicare and Medicaid, and met the needs of the American people in so many ways under the dome of the Capitol. Children learn about our country's history and what we are doing to advance their future. Legislators pass laws, press engage in, uh, in reporting on our democracy, and staff and workers enable all of this to happen. This dome has been a symbol of determination in our country. Remember its origins. Let us recall that the dome of the Capitol was built during the Civil War, and people told President Lincoln that uh, the, the steel, the equipment to build it and the rest was needed for the Civil War, and President Lincoln said no. President Lincoln knew that our country needed a symbol of strength and unity, a reminder of the shared ideals and common purpose that, the, uh, that bind our nation a beacon of hope again to see through the darkness. January 6th was a day of darkness for our country. It was a, gay, a day, as you know, that was called for in the Constitution of the United States uh, for us to validate the presidential election, to certify the results of the Electoral College. That day, one of the darkest, I say again, I'll keep saying days in our history, our temple of democracy was attacked by insurrectionists. You know all of this. The gleeful desecration of the Capitol resulted in multiple deaths, physical harm to over 140 members of law enforcement, and terror and trauma among staff, workers, and members. That trauma is something I can never forget or forgive.